Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market prep video for Wednesday, 5 20, 2020. So May 20th. And yesterday was kind of a, a weird day, wasn't it? Where we, we gapped up in the morning and then we just kind of went nowhere. We just kind of lingered around a price resistance level, just chopping in a very tight range. And then we get a news report at the end of the day suggesting that the hopefulness on a, a coronavirus drug should not have been released and maybe it wasn't as hopeful as originally thought and then the market boom took a took a spill fell over and dumped out um about 370 points just all of a sudden well that left behind bearish engulfing candles and a lot of confusion um in the charts and overnight we're adding to more confusion to this chart. So how about we settle into our office chairs, let's take a look at the technicals of the charts and let's get ready for the Wednesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. So this morning, um, after we had that sell-off last night, um, all of a sudden the future started to pick back up as if, hey, we don't care, we're just gonna come right back up here and and whipsaw this market really hard. So anyone who got stopped out yesterday in this move, probably pretty frustrated um, this morning. Anyone who got short at the end of the day yesterday is equally frustrated this morning as we reverse and gap back up. So here we are again this morning, uh, bouncing into this level. And an old saying comes to mind. When we approach the market this morning, you might want to think about this. That old saying says, fool me once, shame on um, you. Fool me twice, shame on me. So as we gap up this morning, don't get caught up in the fear of missing out, wanting to rush into this market right away, because we are going to probably experience a, a bull bear battle right in here, or see that bull bear battle continue. Now there is the possibility that enough, just enough people got short yesterday, that if they can push on this hard, they trigger a short squeeze and that would actually pop us through. It's one of those little market tricks that get enough people short. Um, if they can push that market to the upside, it forces those short uh, traders to buy to cover and that actually puts more pressure on the market to push it up. That could be a possibility today. We'll want to watch for that um, potential possibility of that little bit of a short squeeze. We also want to watch for that possibility that we gap right up into here and it's a false move and we pop up no buyers there to follow through and then we sell off. So we have a um, kind of a place of confusion here this morning and kind of a rough um, um, approach to the market as to what are we going to do. It kind of leaves everybody scratching their head what comes next. When I get into a position like that, I just want to be very, very cautious and very, very careful. I want to make the market prove to me. So for example, on the gap up open, let's wait and see if we actually get a follow through and we see actual buyers pushing the market up after the market open, or we wait and see whether or not those bears come in after the open and begin to push it down before we make some of those trade decisions today. Let's take a look at the technicals of the chart here in the diamonds though. Now the diamonds still remaining in a relatively good technical pattern in the fact that we're holding on this daily we're holding our 50-day moving average and our 50-day moving average is finally starting to make that turn starting to show that little bit of bullishness in the chart but let's also keep in mind we're still below our 500-day moving average and our 500-day is below our 200-day moving average in the chart so we need to get through this price resistance and that bull bear battle continues remember on this chart i still have this mark down here goldman sachs put out that um, idea and they reiterated it a couple times that they believe the market is going to see a 20% decline over the next three months. So I put it on the chart here and marked it just to show that, hey, you know, you can predict all you want, but there's no, no way to know whether or not that's going to play out that way. So put it on there. Let's see how accurate they are. Let's take a look at um, our SPY, SPY. 
we actually put in yesterday a third potential failure pattern right here at this price resistance level pretty interesting and now we're gonna whip back up and try to break it this morning <laughs> um, pretty interesting price pattern overall in the charts suggesting yesterday as we broke down here we actually fell into this gap and leaving that impression that it's possible we could fill that gap now the whipsaw reversing that to the upside so once again we're going to have to be very very careful to pay attention to that price action after the open don't rush in or chase in on this market this morning we could see um, that 50-day moving average turning up flattening out that's a good technical sign but we also have that 200-day resistance right here uh, providing that resistance so even if we do break through this little resistance high that we have have here um, in the chart right in here even if we do break through that we'll want to make sure and remember that that 200 day moving average is just above that could provide additional resistance to this move let's take a look at the cues now the cues remains the strongest of the indexes and it remains the big four um, apple google uh, Microsoft and um, Amazon that are doing the majority of the lifting in the indexes they are the powerhouses that are holding the market up and as we continue to push to the upside here we'll want to keep an eye on that QQQ very very bullish in its pattern continuing to show in a strong trend and we pushed up here touched that resistance level that I had marked in the chart just gave it an air kiss and then yesterday pulled back leaving that shooting star where this morning we're popping back up here and we're challenging yesterday's high here that possibility of challenging yesterday's high once again um, on this morning's reversal so we'll want to watch that resistance level will that big four continue to carry the weight if they start to see any kind of selling or pulling back we could see the market slip so let's watch that carefully let's take a look at um, oh uh, real quickly our our technicals here in the chart notice our 50-day moving average is really really close here um, today possibly even could cross back above the 200-day moving average um, in the chart so we're looking much much stronger here in the Nasdaq by far um, we also have that big potential where we still could retest that 50-day moving average which could be a bit of a problem if we start to pull back and by the way here is the Goldman target on um, the QQQ. If we take a look at um, IWM, IWM once again struggling here at price resistance put in another failure pattern here at price resistance but this morning we are gapping back up. IWM remains the weakest of the indexes. We did break back above our 2018 lows but we have some price resistance in the chart that we're struggling against and that price resistance comes all the way back over into here and we keep fighting and fighting and fighting trying to break through that level. Maybe today's the day or maybe today we confirm that possible failure. Anything is possible here this morning. Let's take a look at the VIX. Now the VIX, I've been talking about this for a while, and the VIX, what's going to be important here, um, if we can break that downtrend and hold it as support. And yesterday, it looked like that possibility that we were going to slip back below, and then at the end of the day, that that VIX might pop back up. They weren't quite ready to give it up here. Now this morning, we are likely going to turn that back around. So here again, we need to break this, this downtrend. If we're going to see that VIX rise and a little bit of selling come in we need to hold this price support of that downtrend and see that push back up notice we do have a little price level right through here that could serve either direction either up or down if we can push through and you can see the possibility in this chart of a bit of a little inverted head and shoulders pattern so we've got that confusion here in the VIX the VIX is trying to figure out what it wants to do this morning's gap up we could see that pushing back down and um, we have some price levels in the VIX here that could serve as price support as I've shown this many times um, we push back down in here we could find some support in there so if we do get a little bit of that selling or buying move and push back down into here let's watch that level right in here as a potential support 
Let's take a look at T2122. Now T2122, the four week new high, new low ratio, continues to show us up here in this bearish reversal zone. We are pretty stretched out still in the chart, even with yesterday's sell off. Um, pretty stretched out here in the chart. Now, for anyone who's new that hasn't seen this, if we back this up, this is a very consistent indicator. Um, and all it is is a four week new high, new low ratio. So stocks making four week new highs, stocks making four week new lows. And you can see when we reach up into these levels, then we tend to sell off and we push down here. When we push down into here, those uh, four week uh, lows shows us that we have a condition that we've pushed down too far. And it's very, very consistent in what it does. And we've been up here, we're hanging up here right now in this um, bearish reversal zone and continue to hold here. The gap up this morning is likely going to push us right back up in here and to that area. So we're going to be hovering here in that um, reversal zone. Now a short squeeze can continue to hold us up here. If we get that short squeeze pushing us through that resistance, we can hold that up here. So don't think that just because we're up here, it must sell off. That's not the case. We can linger around up here and we've seen periods of time where we've lingered um, in these upper areas and times where we've lingered in the lower areas as well. So keep that in mind. This isn't an indicator that tells us we immediately slip and fall or um, immediately rise. Just showing that we're probably a little bit stretched and at any time some profit taking could come into the market. So we'll want to be watchful for that. Let's take a look at um, the economic calendar for today. Now, the economic calendar has a few things that we're going to want to pay attention to on this hump day. So first, we have um, some Fed speakers out here. We've got a little Fed speaker parade still going on here in the market. Things that could move the market around probably the most are the petroleum status report today. Obviously, that can move oil prices around substantially. And the FOMC minutes that will be coming out at 2 p.m. Eastern. You know, one of the things that's typical um, in the market is the market kind of stalls and gets kind of stodgy and and um, uh, goes nowhere as we wait for that FOMC minute. Um, release. I don't know if that's going to be the case in this market. We're so, so darn volatile and so much emotion wrapped up in this market. Anything is possible. Um, but I just wanted to remind as a typical basis, um, we can just kind of go sideways after the open waiting for that FOMC release. So kind of keep that in mind as a possibility. Let's take a look at our earnings calendar today. Now our earnings calendar, we do have quite a few companies reporting, but you know, not exactly what you would call big market movers. Now Lowe's, Lowe's reported on an earnings um, announcement and they popped up nicely here this morning. Good sales growth and everyone staying home wanting to get their home projects done, I guess, um, in the chart. So Lowe's is out here testing all time highs in the chart. We've rallied straight back up in this move and we're testing those all time highs this morning. This morning, we're also going to be hearing from Target. Target will be reporting today and it looks like Target right now is opening slightly higher from its push down yesterday. I'm not sure if they've reported yet this morning, but we'll want to keep an eye on that for Target. They will be reporting um, sometime today. We have ADI. ADI is reporting today, and you can see right now it's showing gap up. By the way, for those of you who don't have TC2000, let me show you here. This right here is indicating my bid ass spread um, this morning in the pre market. So, as you can see, we are gapping up here this morning in that chart. A nice um, report apparently coming in on that trade. RDY, RDY is another uh, stock reporting today, and you can see it's gapping up this morning, coming up into that. So, keep an eye on it. EXPE, Expedia, kind of remarkable to me that some of these stocks. Um, 
are perking back up as much as they are considering not much is happening in travel. But um, you can see um, e EXPE is gapping up just slightly this morning. I don't know that it's reported yet, but we'll want to keep an eye on that. And what's critical um, or important about this pattern is that we've been rising, having rising lows, and we've pressed ourselves through that resistance. So any hold up here in that chart gives us that opportunity for an upside move to maybe move back up and fill some of these um, price levels up in here so watch that closely expe could actually be setting up after we get through this earnings report um huya huya moving up this morning we've been moving up toward this earnings event we're gapping up a little bit this morning let's watch this carefully though because we're slamming into some significant price resistance levels in the chart. So be careful chasing that trade. One thing that is positive, however, is that we have broken this overall downtrend. So any rest pullback consolidation that holds um, this overall uptrend in the chart gives us an upside opportunity. We might wanna keep an eye on that. LB, LB looking pretty well, pretty flat so far this morning where we apparently have not received that report hanging in here. It's been dancing around in this bottom trying to build this base. LB reports today. Keep an eye on that. MCK. MCK. Um, could uh, well looks like they are reporting and they've uh, apparently disappointed and MCK is gapping lower this morning. Uh, TTWO. TTWO reporting today. You know, I got to tell you, these gaming stocks, uh, TTWO, EA, so many of these gaming stocks, very, very strong, reporting uh, very strong this morning, apparently, and gapping up this morning. Take two, uh, moving on higher today. Um, for VER, VER reporting today. Not a big market mover, um, dancing around in this real estate trust. Uh, some of these real estate stocks having some difficulty trying to decide where they're going to go. And as you can see, we're gapping up just slightly this morning. And last but not least that I'm going to bring up this morning is ZTO, um, also reporting this morning. Left behind a shooting star pattern here. Don't know where we're going to open uh, this one just yet. A little bit of a wide bid S spread. Looks like we're still waiting, waiting on that earnings report. It's been very, very strong in its uptrend however so keep an eye on that so with that everyone hey i want to wish you all a fantastic day i don't want to wish you great profits in your trading and if this is the first time you've seen these videos if you guys could do me a favor click that subscribe button on youtube and also that bell icon when it pops up and if you feel like this video is worthy of, of um, a thumbs up, please click that thumbs up button and leave a brief comment. And I want to say thank you to everyone who does do that. You're helping this channel grow. We're reaching more and more folks, and I truly, truly appreciate that. So thank you very, very much. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up now. And a few stocks that I put on um, the list yesterday, uh, Twitter. I'm keeping an eye on. Twitter, as of yesterday, we, we kind of broke above this little downtrend. We've been struggling in here and you can see that we've held on to a price support level right in here. Struggling a bit in this area, but breaking that downtrend, holding up in here, we wanna watch this for that opportunity that we could pop out. Now it looks like this morning, my alert being right here on that pink line that we are going to gap up into that area and maybe pop above. So keep an eye on that. Also note that we have an additional level of price resistance up here that we're gonna to have to deal with as we move up but twitter showing some positiveness this morning take a look at beyond meat beyond meat holding up nicely after breaking through this price resistance moving up in this trend holding strongly in this tight consolidation this morning it looks like beyond is going to pop and move up a little bit now that doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to break out and this is going to be the move to the upside remember i still favor the possibility that this could slide itself over here toward trend but we want to watch it for that possibility that it starts this move early sometimes when it starts the move early though remember it can pop a couple of days and still pull 
pull back into trend. So plan for that if you're looking at Beyond Meat. It's looking pretty darn good here right now. I added Cisco um, to my alert list and I really honestly want to get into a trade here on Cisco. They reported well uh, this quarter and not only reported well but guided forward saying that their belief and I kind of agree with this that their belief that um, working from home might be a new norm and we may see um, they see a good future as a result of that because they've got all those networking tools available so I'm gonna keep an eye on this um, and you can see it is trying to put press my resistance or my alert this morning now I'll tell you honestly I would really prefer really prefer that we get more rest or consolidation in this chart before it goes may not get that opportunity with it as volatile as this market is uh, for that to occur. So watch that close. Keeping an eye on EVER, another one of those nice tight consolidating patterns in here trying to hold up. Keep that one on your list. CRWD looking good yesterday and even with um, yesterday's sell off into the close held a nice bullish candle in here and it looks like it is gapping up trying to break through that resistance. Take a take a good look at CRWD today. It may have some possibilities. EA continues to show lots of strength here, leaving a uh, bullish engulfing candle behind um, yesterday and a nice little candle, three candle pattern here showing bullishness. Take two interactive moving us up this morning could gap this higher. So keep an eye on EA. It may push on through that resistance level and be a pretty decent chart. So guys, I'm running out of time here. I don't want to make this video too long. I want to thank everyone for watching this morning. I want to uh, say thank you so much for everyone who supports the channel. You guys humble me every day with your kind comments. I want to wish you all a fantastic day. Wish you great profits. And we'll see you all right back here bright and early Thursday morning. Be safe, everyone.